welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Toriana and I do natural hair videos here on my channel. I have been natural for about six years now, but I started my twisting journey um, two and a half years ago. And that is when I seen the most astonishing length retention that I've ever seen in my entire natural hair journey due to me twisting my hair. I literally went from shoulder length hair all the way to waist length hair in one and a half years. So um, it is safe to say that twisting is where it's at when it comes to me and my hair. And I decided to show it to other people because people would ask, well, Toriana, your hair texture is similar to mine um you know what do you do to your hair so i am back and i'm here with a wash day routine video an updated wash day routine video i did one a year ago but i have found a new and simpler version of my wash day um, that i've recently been doing and i wanted to share that with you guys So as you can see right off bat, my hair looks crazy, okay? It's giving Bobbiana, it's giving Bobbiana Marley, it's giving the sun is shining, the weather is sweet, make you want to move your dancing feet, okay? Um, my hair is very frizzy right now and it's a little dirty. It's a little dirty, not gonna lie, it's a little dirty. And so that's why I am doing this wash day video. But before we start, let me show you guys the products that I will be using in this video. I'm only using three products, if you count water, okay? You can't wash your hair and cleanse your hair without water. So that is really important. And I also have some African um, black soap. And I use this to really give my hair a really nice, good scrub and just really clean out all of the buildup, all of the lint or anything that could have managed to get into these twists for the past three months, okay? The next product that I'm gonna be using is aloe vera juice. I have some aloe vera juice in this misting spray bottle and this really softens my hair and it allows me to manage and move my hair a little bit more than water for me and so i always use aloe vera misting spray on my hair if you've watched my previous youtube videos you know okay before i go into washing my hair i just want to give you guys a tour of what my hair is looking like don't judge me okay it's been about probably four months at this point since I've washed my hair. So it's definitely due for a washing. <laughs> it's past due actually for a washing. If you are new here, I do not wash my hair frequently. Um, I wash my hair every three to four months. Um, and I basically just cleanse with aloe vera juice in between like actual real wash days like today if you don't know i don't mind a little frizz on my twist um honestly i prefer the look of like very worn in twist the only thing about it is if your hair is frizzy like mine it means it's it's, it's dry it's not moisturized it needs to regain that moisture so even though i don't mind the look of it um i just know that my hair is not at its peak and so I need to do some adjusting to make it look um, the most healthy that it is. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you guys around my head of hair, okay? As you guys can see, there's, there's some buildup. I don't know if the camera is going to catch it. Oh, wait, you can really see that. Hold on. <laughs> There's literally, there's a little lint in there. There's a little lint in there. There's literally hair sticking up and coming up out of my twist. Um, yeah. 
my parts are becoming non-existent at this point. And I'm probably a sleep's way from having locked hair. So, so um, I really need to, to get this up under control. And I'm happy that you're here with me to get this going, to get my hair back to its, to its health. Oh my God, look at this, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see, look at that long string of hair pulling off with it. Oh my God. It's bad, y'all. It's bad. It is as bad as it looks, okay? Um, yeah, let me, I'm honestly scared to spin around, but you know what, why not? We're, we're no judge, no judge free, no judge free, what? No, that's the opposite. We're a judge free zone over here on this channel. So there's no judging, okay? Life happens and we're the people who it happens to. What? time here let's get right into this because like i said it's giving a sleeps away from being locked okay and my channel is going to turn from a twisting journey to a locking journey in one night's rest so let's go ahead and get this going the first thing that i want to do before i actually start putting water and stuff on my hair is putting something that is familiar with like i said i don't i use aloe vera juice um, in my misting spray bottle, I don't use water. So I'm going to give my hair something that it's a little bit used to before I go ahead and start cleansing. So it. I'm going to take my aloe vera juice and I'm just going to go in and spray my hair. You guys do not know how refreshing that feels. Like it is the best feeling in the entire world. Give myself a little massage. Girl, it's been four months. <laughs> it's been four months. Whew. Okay, now that I have sprayed almost the entire bottle of misting spray on my hair, we are going to move on to the next thing, which is actually adding the water. Now I'm gonna be real. Typically, I do this entire routine in the shower, okay? But I feel like if I show y'all doing my hair in my shower, you know, that's a little weird. And that's for another platform, not YouTube. Now I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding now, but um, I'm just gonna wet my hair with water after spraying it with aloe vera juice That is the next step um, as you guys can see. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but look at how like Moisturized my hair like looks like you like it just gave my hair life if that makes sense You know what? I mean, that's why I love like frizzy twist because look at this. Is this not beautiful? Like what? Oh my God, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. But it, it's, it needs to be washed, it needs to be washed. I'm the type of person, I'm not afraid of a little bit of frizz, okay, at all. But when the frizz is caused from dryness, um, that's when I have a problem. Or when it's caused from it being dirty or just having lint in it and just needing to be refreshed and washed, then that's when you wanna go ahead and make sure that you that you refresh and wash your hair. I am gonna go ahead and drench my hair in water. Um, I would be in the shower doing this, but you know, we gonna go and drench our hair, okay? I'm gonna be back. So as you guys can see, I am back from basically drenching my hair in water. And the next step that I'm gonna do is to literally scrub this African black soap all over my hair 
all over my scalp, okay? And that's what's really gonna get it real clean, okay? I don't take my hair out of this twist, as you guys can see, I don't do that. It would be a nightmare if I were to do that. So I don't. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this scalp clean. So basically, I'm just gonna take this soap and start scrubbing my scalp. absolutely amazing I'm just gonna go in and literally just massage my scalp that's all I'm doing under the water. Now I'm just gonna go in with the bar and with my wet hair. Forget a man bringing you flowers or, I don't know, doing a, some other kind, normal gesture. 
like for me can you rub my scalp please <laughs> and thank you like do you guys know how good that this feels right now but it would feel even better if somebody else was doing it okay <laughs> if like as i'm scrubbing i'm literally transporting into like another world or something it just feels so good i don't know it's unexplainable Okay, so once I have finished scrubbing my entire scalp and making sure I get absolutely everything, then I am going to wash this out of my hair with some warm water um, just to make sure I get all of the suds out of my hair. So I will be back once I get done doing that. I have just come back from washing out all of the African black soap and as you can see my scalp feels so clean well you can't see that my scalp is so clean I don't know you might be able to <laughs> but as you can see like oh, my hair just feels alive right now it feels so refreshed um, I don't feel like my hair is stripped. Like I can easily just glide my fingers through it. I don't feel like my hair is like being stripped of this natural oil. I feel as though African black soap has the perfect amount of like cleansing to it, but also moisturizing agent. So you're not like losing absolutely all of your hair's natural oils and all of the moisturization that it needs to like continue to thrive. So, once my hair is all washed out, the last step that I'm gonna do of my washing routine is to literally take my aloe vera juice and just spray my entire head of hair. cleansing um, hair care routine the next step of my routine is to start moisturizing my hair and putting that moisture back into it and I will have another video which will be part two of this entire routine showing you guys how I moisturize my hair but in the meantime I'm literally just gonna twist this up right quick or plait it up, whatever. And once I have it kind of like all together, so it's just not flying and flapping water everywhere, I am then gonna move on to my moisturizing routine, which I said will be part two of this entire, whatever this means, <laughs> of this entire um, process. 
So yeah, um, that is literally it. I'm soaking right now. This would have been so much easier if <laughs> if I just like did it in the shower, but I didn't want to like, you know, show my entire body in the shower washing my hair. So I had to settle and do it this way. But I hope you guys found this video um, informative. Um, I hope you guys found it helpful. Um, I also have a DIY African Black Soap Shampoo recipe that I have used multiple times on my hair and I still continue to use that to this day. Um, it's just that when I'm just kind of like in an in and out situation where I just need to go ahead, it's wash day, it's three months or four months and it's time for my hair to be washed um, and I just want to get in and get out, that's what I do. Scrub-a-dub-dub. Toriana in the shower cleaning her hair okay <laughs> with no. type 4 hair you do not have to do too much simple is always best at least that's how it's been for me so if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please like this video um subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already um my hair care routine is very simple and I think that um, it shows a lot of people that you don't have to go out and buy like 50 gazillion, bajillion hair care products to achieve healthy hair. Um, it's just not, it's just not necessary. So um, I don't know, I enjoy showing you guys how I do my hair and I also enjoy doing my hair. So it's like a double satisfactory win-win situation for me. So like I said, give this video a like okay i'm literally dripping everywhere and wetting up my entire floor for you guys <laughs> so please like this video um and comment down below what should i have you guys comment <sighs> comment down below your wash day routine like on a scale of one to ten how simple is it like for me with just water, aloe vera juice, and African black soap, I feel like you can't get no simpler than that, okay? You can't get any simpler than that. So um, I would definitely rate my wash day routine maybe a, a, a two from being most simple to extremely complex, right? Where you're using like five or more products. Let me know what it is, okay? And I'm gonna clean up this water all on my bathroom floor that I'm dripping from my hair. And I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. Look forward for the next video with me showing off my moisturizing routine and also doing a lint check because I have not done a lint check in literally a year or maybe a little bit over a year. So that's gonna be super exciting. I don't do those often, so stay tuned for that. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm out. Bye.